Hi guys and welcome back. In this tutorial, let's start fetching the models in our application. So for that, let's head uh, back to our code and let's create a new file. Let's name it uh, API services.jart. Then let's initialize it. So I will name it API service like that. Let's create a static function. It will be a future and for now of type void. Um, we can name it get models like that. Let's add the async keyword and in here we can start writing our function. Now to be able to use the API, we need to make HTTP requests. So for that, we will be using the HTTP package and to handle the errors, Let's wrap it by a try catch like that. Okay. If an error occurred, I will print, for example, um, error. And let's print it just like that. Okay. Now in the try block, we need to make our request. So we call the HTTP package, then the get method. We need to give it the URL. Okay. And in our case, it is a URI. And the URL is this one. Let's copy it. And now we can paste it here like that. But as I said, it is a URI. So we need to convert this to a URI simply by calling URI.parse and paste what we have. Then we need to add the API key, as I showed you here. And in order to do that, we need to add the headers for this get method. So here we have this headers parameter, and then we need to give it a map. And the first one is the authorization like that. And we need to give it the beater and our API key. So I'll paste it like that. And finally, we need to put our correct API key. For that, we can create a new file. Let's name it API consts dot dart. And in here, we can put the base URL, which is this one. So let's say um, string base URL and we put it here just like that and then we can put the API key and uh, after this tutorial the API key will be different so make sure to put your API key do not use mine because I will remove it after finishing this tutorial so here I put my API key and then let's go back to the API service and now instead of this, we can call our base URL. And in here, we can put our API key, just like that. After getting this response, we can decode it and we can print it to see what we have. So we can save this and a response, put it equal to this function. And now we can print this response so now let's print this response, but first we need to decode it. So, and when we decode it, we will get a map as you see in here, because the response is a map. Okay. Let's keep going. So let's say map in here, or you can just define a var. So let's say response like that and call JSON decode and now give it your response dot body. like that. Now I'm having error here. Let's add a wait keyword here. And now that's it. This is a future function. So we must add a wait keyword here. Now we can print the JSON response. So let's say um, JSON response. And now let's print it like that. And that's it. So what we can do is to call this method and the some and somewhere, for example, and for me, I will call it for the send message. So here 
I will call the API service dot get models and of course we need to await it and we need to put it in a try catch block now catch like that and if there is an error let's print the error just like that now let's restart the application and let's see what will happen Okay, here's our application. Let's pre let's press here. Perfect. Here it is. Here our response. No error occurred, and we have our response just like what we have in here. We have this data, so we have it here also. Data, and inside of our data, there is this ID and so on. And this data is actually a list. Okay. Perfect. Now, before that we end this tutorial, I will do one more thing is that we need to handle the errors. If you remember in the postman, when we handle the errors, I mean, if I made a wrong Rio URL, we know we will get an error. So we will get an error here and a map. It has message, type, and so on. Okay. So what we can do is in the API services, We can check this response or the response body here. What we can do is to check this response if there is an error. And this error, it must match the error here. Okay? So what I'm gonna do is to check if this is null, it means that we don't have an error. So let's say if it is different than null, it means that we have an error and we got a response as an error. We can throw HTTP exceptions and we can give it the message. In order to access the message, we need to access the error, then access the message, just like that. So in our code, we copy this and then we copy this message and we can give it here like that okay and moreover we can print this so print let's just make it like that and i will print it and now what i will do is to change this url restart the application and then let's test it and see what will happen here it is now it says json error and here we have the message Okay, and it's being printed twice because in our code we also added, I mean, in the chat screen here we also printing the error. Okay, so I will end this tutorial here, and the next tutorial we will go deeper in our code and we will create the model for our models. Okay, so we will create this model class and save what we have and display it. I'll see you in the next one.